Hey everyone, my name is Aaron Redberg Sweet. Today I want to talk to you about ordering a 12 bolt. So we're going to run through some questions that you need to be asking yourself. Uh, it's going to be save you time, money, headache, heartache. Some things you need to consider before you order a 12 bolt. Number one. type of rear is a 12 bolt even appropriate for you if you call me and tell me you got a chevelle with 1200 horsepower I'll tell you to order nine inch unless you're running like a stock eliminator car or you have to have a 12 bolt you just absolutely refuse to run a nine inch something like that you got to ask yourself is a 12 bolt even right for my application should i run a nine inch or should i run a 12 bolt so it kind of brings us to the second question and that is spline count You want to make sure you have enough axle diameter for what you're doing. So whether you're getting like a 30 spline C-clip axle, 33 spline bolt in, 35 spline axle, whatever you might be doing, you need to make sure that it is matched up appropriately with the driving style, the horsepower level, and what you're doing in this build. So definitely a huge consideration when ordering a 12 bolt. Make sure you get the right spline size. Give yourself something you can grow into. Make sure it's make sure it's appropriate. Three, brakes. What are you gonna do for brakes on this build? You want to reuse your '69 Camaro drums? Do you want to put an aftermarket bare brake kit on the car? Do you want to use your stock drums now and go to disc in the future? These are things you need to consider because you don't want to order something for a stock like like let's say you got a truck like a 86 c10 probably don't want to order that for stock drum brakes because there's no aftermarket support for disc brakes currently so you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you can't find brakes in the future so that is definitely something you need to be asking your sales technician about what your plans are what you're going to do in the future that's very important Next, bolt pattern. So this is something where you wanna make sure the wheels that you're buying, you've already bought, that you have right now, make sure you can fit that bolt pattern on the axle, make sure the brakes are gonna work with it, make sure everything's gonna to work together. Uh, another thing, like making sure your stud size. We'll add studs to this. Bolt pattern and stud size. Make sure that what you're doing there is support for because let's say you have a set of willwood brakes and you got half 20 studs up front you probably want to do half 20 studs in the rear to match the front so you got half 20s all the way around so definitely something you want to think about Five, you got some other features in the axles themselves. Like, do you want to lighten the axles? Do you need access holes drilled in the face? Something to consider because if you have an internal parking brake mechanism, you're going to need an access hole drilled in the face of the axles so you can get a socket through in order to secure the T-bolts and bolt your brakes on. So do you need that? Do you need any additional features in your axles? Definitely something you want to be thinking about there also. Number six, what posse do you want to put in it? So there are spring and clutch style posies, gear driven posies. There's a lot of options. So if you're talking like three, 400 horsepower streetcar cruising around town, spring and clutch style posse, you want to be able to spin both tires, but you want a good driving experience. That's going to be a good option for cruising around town. Start getting a little more power. You want to get away from that. Maybe you need a gear driven, you know, like a true track got seven eight hundred horsepower maybe you got a power adder you want to go up and power in the future maybe you need something like a wave track with a really nice you know it's going to be really smooth around corners you know posi like that it's got a lifetime warranty on the wave track itself so i highly recommend that unit it all depends on your application what you're doing with it so definitely something you want to consider is what's the appropriate posi Seven, gear ratio. Uh, something you need to be thinking about is 
you got to match this up to your transmission, your tire size, driving style. Are you cruising around on the highway? Or are you cruising around town? Are you drag racing? What ratio? You got to make sure all that stuff is going to work together. So definitely an important piece of the puzzle. Number eight, rear cover. Uh, you got options for a chrome cover, a black cover, an aluminum girdle cover. So if you're going to be putting a lot of horsepower to this or you want the look of the aluminum girdle cover, the nice thing about that is you have two bolts, two load bolts that go up against your main caps. So they're gonna reduce gear deflection. So when you launch, you know, things try to flex. You got them bolts there to push against them them load bolts to keep it from moving and deflecting. So it is a nice feature. It's a very nice looking piece. It's got the fill and the drain in there. So it makes it very convenient. It's a very nice looking piece for sure. Number nine is kind of a cosmetic feature, but do you want to powder coat it? What are you, what are you going to do for a finish on it? Because these rears ship out in a bare finish. So there is an option to powder coat. Definitely something you want to think about there also. Okay, number 10, assembly. We offer a service where this rear end can show up by truck freight in a wooden crate. So axles are installed, brakes are installed. Uh, they also send them out in pieces. So you could get the gear in a posi would be set up, but you have to slide the axles in, install the brakes. So it's something you need to think about there also. So we've covered a lot of ground as far as is this type of rear appropriate, making sure you get an appropriate spline count, got to match that up to the posi, make sure you got axles that are strong enough to handle what you're doing. We covered a lot with the brakes. What brakes are you going to be using now? What are your plans in the future? Definitely want to be very transparent about that because that can save you a lot of headache down the road. Bolt pattern and stud size, matching the fronts to the rears. Uh, making sure you can find wheels and making sure you can do what you want with the wheels that you want because sometimes wheels are hard to find so people switch bolt patterns. Um, additional features in the axles like lightning features, access holes. Uh, which posi is appropriate? We covered a little bit about that. Spring and clutch style, gear driven units, what gear ratio. You want to make sure tire size, transmission, make sure all that works together. Rear cover options, chrome, black, aluminum girdle. Talked about some perks of the aluminum girdle cover with the main cap studs that keep everything solid. Uh, we talked about cosmetic stuff like powder coating. And we also talked a little bit about the assembly. So it could be put together, set in pieces, a lot of options there. So we covered, we covered some ground here, but if you have any questions about a 12 bolt, whether it's appropriate for your car, whether it's not, don't be afraid to give us a ring, 260-301-2424. Get us at redbirdspeed.com. Check, check it out online. So I'll link up the 12-bolt page in the description. If you want to take a look at some 12-bolts, you can shop my application. We've got everything from bare housing axle packages. We can put four-link brackets, ride tech. We can, everything's made to order. So if you want to narrow it, you want to leave a bracket off, you want to, whatever you want to do, give us a call. We'll talk options and go from there. So we appreciate your support. Thanks for listening. We'll catch you on the next video. Have a good day.